All right, guys, it's Jenningham here. Winslow of PC Andrews Harper calls for jailing for life, as you can see here. Anyone who kills a member of emergency services, you get jailed for life. I've not made it up. I've just done a video about this. There's a woman speaking here. And there's a woman speaking about Andrew PC what died. So it says on there for anybody that's not seen it. It's not fake. I've just shown you. This is his girlfriend. The... She's talking. It's positive there. It says any killing on emergency services for life to anyone who kills a member of emergency services. So they're not tolerating it. This is his wife speaking. My husband has been taken um, and the people responsible will not be paying for that. Yes. She's heartbroken over her boyfriend. I mean, husband. He was getting proud of me. Um, you know, ultimately, I'm I'm doing this for him. Um, so it's you know, it's his colleagues, it's his police. So they've tightened the laws. I don't know about Scotland and Northern Ireland and Wales. If you yeah, kill a police officer there. Was dedicated. Is it going to be life imprisonment? Or any any other emergency services? It says the UK definitely. You kill someone there in uniform, ambulance guy, police, security guard, army person for no reason. Life in prison. Just talking how kind Andrew PC was. This guy here, I got killed. Just light-hearted. You know, he'd be there for anyone. Um, but he didn't take himself too seriously. There was always a smile, um, you know, and that's why everyone misses him so much um, because he just brought so much laughter to all of our lives. Um, Aren't you pleasing? Yeah. This is Harper speaking to Anna Botting. Some of the other stories making the headlines today. And after a brief summer break, the next round of talks to try to reach a trade deal with the European Union is... Not about trade deals process. now. The Prime Minister's chief negotiator, David Frost, is having dinner this evening with Michel Barnier, and officials will get to work on the technicalities of an agreement sometime tomorrow. The biggest sticking points we understand are access to UK fishing waters and the EU's insistence that Britain sticks by European rules to ensure a level playing field. A rapper who gave his girlfriend drugs at a music festival has had his conviction for manslaughter overturned. Cecil Courtney was jailed for eight and a half years over the death of Luella Fletcher Nietzsche in 2017. The defence argued that he'd not asked for help sooner because he had not realised that she was at risk of death. France is to make face masks compulsory in most workplaces. The rules will apply to all offices and factories where more than one person is present. France is currently averaging more than 2,000 new cases of COVID-19 every day, and health experts believe that about a quarter of infections are linked to workplaces. The Irish government is asking people to work from home until at least September the 13th, unless it's absolutely essential to be on site. The guidance has been prompted by a rising number of cases in many parts of Ireland. A UN-backed tribunal today convicted a Hezbollah member for the assassination of the former Lebanese So, I don't know what's going on with that. Irritating, that is. The bombing and they were acquitted. The latest on it all with uh, Mark Stone. He joins me now from Jerusalem. So, Mark, give us the, the background to all this. Well, first of all, I think the acquittal of three of the four defendants was a surprise. There was an expectation. So, if you want to watch more of this news, and if you uh, like Sky News, I don't know why the phone's focusing like that. I can't even see the picture properly. Uh, it's not focusing again. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the short video. It helps a lot of people. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. 2005. His assassination really